G'day. Welcome to Crystal Clear Mathematics, where it is easier than you think. I'm your host, Graham Henderson. The English writer Sidney Smith once wrote, What would life be without arithmetic but a scene of horrors? Now, you may or may not like arithmetic, but I want you to pause there for a moment and consider that arithmetic is based on comparing, counting and calculating. Comparing the sizes of objects, which one's larger or smaller, counting how many objects there might be, and calculating, which is adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing, and things of that nature, which, in a sense, are accelerated forms of counting. Not only would you not be able to calculate a discount on a price, for example, there would be no prices, there would be no numbers, there would be no calculating, no industry. You wouldn't know how old you were, you wouldn't be able to plan your meals to calculate who needed more or less of anything. All that would disappear from the world. It would truly be a horror. Considering that you use arithmetic in a fairly elementary way so often in your daily life, wouldn't it make sense to become good at it, good at that skill? Now this is the beginning of a series of videos I'm producing aiming to teach you to become good at arithmetic. Because I'm a high school teacher I'm not going to talk about comparing and I'm not going to talk about counting but I am going to produce a series of videos about calculating. And the simplest form of calculating is adding numbers and that's what this video is about. I've produced a very simple spreadsheet to help students learn to add numbers quickly. And by that I mean small numbers, numbers up to 10. It's a very simple concept. I'm going to demonstrate it for you uh, almost immediately. But I just want to share this uh, spreadsheet I'm making available for free from my website for you to download. Uh, no hidden costs or charges. I encourage you to copy it, distribute it to friends, and take on the challenge of trying to complete the sheet of addition questions in under 60 seconds. And it even has a randomizing feature. You can hit a button and produce as many copies as you like, all of them different. So here goes, let me demonstrate first of all how the sheet is used so you can practice the addition skills that you've already been learning. This is what the sheet looks like. I've printed an A3 copy just to make it easier for me to demonstrate. And uh, I'll zoom in on the top of it just so we can uh, examine it more carefully. Now I've got some fairly primitive equipment here, but I think this will do the trick. There we go. Uh, I used to call it Mr. Henderson's secret weapon when I was dealing with primary school children and using it in those classes, but here I call it Break the Minute Speed Challenge, and I'll explain why in a moment. But it's quite a simple principle. Each set of boxes has four numbers, and uh, you simply add the numbers across and down. So three plus two would be five, five plus four is nine, and five plus nine is 14. Here we have three plus five is eight, two and four is six, and eight and six is 14. The beauty of this is that because this total here is simply the sum of these four numbers being added in two different ways, uh, both totals should be the same. So there's, it's self-checking. There's no need to look up the answers in the back of the book or anything like that. I'll do another one. 3 plus 3 is 6. 2 plus 4 is 6. 3 plus 2 is 5. 3 plus 4 is 7. And 5 and 7 are 12. And so are 6 and 6. There are in fact 60 questions on this page. Each set of boxes has one, two, three, four, five additions, if you like. The, the last one is really a check. And there are 12 of them, uh, four rows of three. Making 60 questions at the rate of one per second, one would complete the sheet in one minute, hence the title of Break a Minute. 
My experience with teaching high school students is that when they first encounter one of these pages, they take around two to two and a half minutes on average to complete it. After two or three or four weeks of practice, that is completing one or two per period or per lesson at school, their times are generally down around one minute 15 to one minute 30 per page. And a small handful of students get down to the minute or just below. I think the best I've had was around 49 seconds. On a personal note, uh, obviously I've had more practice than high school students. My best time is around 32 seconds. Uh, I've achieved that quite a number of times and not got any lower. I think my writing speed gets to be a bit of a problem. But I am curious, the world is a big place out there and I'm sure there are people out there who can beat that by perhaps a considerable margin. So if you can, if you can beat 32 seconds, then please let me know, put a, a comment below this video. Uh, perhaps even post a video of yourself doing it. But it's, uh, it's, that's doing it at the rate of about two per second. And uh, I find I just can't quite write fast enough. If you download a copy of the spreadsheet I designed, the link you'll find in the description below this video, you'll find the following properties. By pressing the F9 key you can get different numbers. Uh, you can change the largest number used to get quite substantial numbers or even very tiny ones. And uh, the beauty is you can print a different sheet for every student in a class. When you print them you can see that the printout is uh, as I showed you earlier. So there it is, a very very simple tool and I encourage you to use it and to share it among your friends so that you can become quite rapid with your adding small numbers. Of course larger numbers when they're being added involve the use of strategies which in mathematics we call algorithms. I'll be sharing some of those in future videos but for the moment this simple tool is all I want to share. If you like it, then please click the like button uh, below the video. I'd love you to leave a comment below the video as well. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Thank you for watching.